before you do your next project, check out this video. So the first thing that I'd like to do is learn a little bit more about what products are available to us boaters in the way of treating stains around the craft. The Monterey has been painted with a paint called All Grip, but there's a lot of boats that also have gel coat. So what I've done is I've invited Bob Donay from Interlux to join us. And he's over the seawall, so let's head over there in order to learn more. Yo, John, I've been walking around the marina today and noticed some nice boats, but I'm still seeing some staining around the transom and the water line and the bow area. I really don't understand that because this marina is on one of the cleanest bodies of water on the entire eastern seaboard. But let's talk about staining issues. You know, if a tree falls in the water and it starts to decay, or if leaves get in the water, it will turn water brownish, almost black, okay? And even though you're on a clean body of water, you can get a mustache around your boat. You can also get some staining from fuel. You can get staining from fish blood. Mm -hmm. there, there's rust on boats. And how do we take care of not only painted boats, but also gel coat? Let's, mm -hmm. let's first talk about washing it yep. with a soap. What are some of the different soaps that people have as an option? Well, you have a marine grade soap where you can go to your local home center and try to get a, a soap in that area or use the soap that you bring from home. Um, and some of those soaps that from the home centers are designed to remove grease and oil, food stains, spaghetti stains, that sort of thing. And they're sometimes very harsh and can remove wax that you might have just applied to your, for your, to your boat for the season. Why is that a big deal, removing the wax that's on the boat? Well, the wax is there to protect the boat, to protect the gel coat, to protect the finish if you need to, and it seals up any porosity in, in the boat, and it'll, re, it'll reduce the chance for oxidation and, and gel coat porosity over time. So we begin by using a marine type of soap so that we don't strip the waxes. Yep. Okay, it's also good for the environment, a lot of, the, a lot of these soaps. But, but if that doesn't attack the stain, what should we be using? Then we have another product in our, in our line of paint safe products called heavy duty stain remover. Okay, and that's this right here. Will any of these products hurt your paint? Will any of these products hurt your gel coat? Well, we take the philosophy in all of our boat care products, try not to use anything that's more aggressive than you actually need. And some of these stain removers that are designed to, to clean stains in the marine environment are more aggressive than they actually need to be. And they'll actually harm and leave a yellow residue on the surface if they're left on there for a period of time. Or they'll might, they might etch the metal, whether wait, wait, it's are anodized aluminum. Are you talking aluminum. days? Are you talking weeks? Or, or are you talking minutes? No, they'll be minutes if they're left on there for too long. They're actually pretty aggressive. Be cognizant of what you're using. Okay, that's, that's kind of the tip here. If you get anything from the segment, just make sure you know what's in the in the product. With your product on a mustaching problem, okay, the staining issue, we've washed it, okay. How do we apply the product? Well, it has the consistency of a thin gel, so you can just squirt it on the surface. Then you'll need to spread it out a little bit. You can use a cheap quality uh, chip brush or what have you. Just spread it, spread it out so it covers the stain area. How Let, long do we leave it on? A couple minutes at the most. Uh, if we leave it on too long, can we hurt anything? No, you shouldn't. No. Okay. And then how do we remove it? Just rinse it off with water. Okay. Now, these products, okay, a stain remover will remove your wax. And again, it's important to have that wax sealer. You want to have your gel coat sealed. You want to have your paint waxed, okay, yep. if, if, if need be, okay. And if you remove the wax, you need to re-wax. Yes. And there are a lot of very great products out in the market specifically for boats, okay. But your product has an additive put into the wax. What is it and what's its function? Well, it's Teflon. And I think a lot of boat owners will be familiar with it from the nonstick properties, maybe in, in frying pans you see in the kitchen. Right. The Teflon in our product is going to reduce the, reduce the staining, make it more of a nonstick, low friction surface to make it more difficult for uh, contaminants in the marine environment like salt and black streaks, exhaust residue to actually stick to a wax surface. Awesome. Thank you so much for not only making the, you, the actual paint and, and all of these finishes, but thank you for giving us a line that's going to help maintain this. That's excellent, excellent. Our pleasure. Information. You can find these Interlux products and much more at jamestowndistributors.com.